The Bob's Burgers movie has just flipped itself onto the big screen, so before you take your bouncy buns to the cinema, get caught up on the life of the youngest Belcher. Because in the timeline of the day, we're looking into the life of the mischievous Louise. We'll be breaking down her life and her most impactful moments thus far. But first, get your hands on that juicy like button and give it a tap. It's 100% fat free and organic. Louise was born with a hat on. Louise Belcher was an adorable baby who was as attached to hats as a normal baby is attached to its pacifier. That gal has always got her hat on, even if it was a damn colander. In a flashback scene, baby Louise is wearing a pink beanie and at some point later on comes into possession of her infamous pink bunny ear hat. We never really learn where the hat came from or why she never takes it off, but what we do know is that Louise is never seen without it. Apart from the episode Easy Rider, when a bully named Logan stole it. Even Bob and Linda, her very own parents, are stunned to see her hatless head for the very first time. But nobody messes with Louise's hat, and she will go to some extreme lengths just to get it back, including getting a biker gang to scare the living hell out of Logan. She even threatens to cut off his ears. Leave them where they are, they, they look good in that position. Yeah, that Louise can be pretty dark when she wants to be. Louise and Bob's lovely relationship. It goes without saying that Louise is a daddy's girl through and through. In the episode Mother Daughter Laser Razor, a flashback of baby Louise shows Linda trying to get her to say mama, but instead she says dada over and over, infuriating poor Linda. You know what? Change your own diaper. But you know what? Bob and Louise have a whole lot in common. They spend nights watching TV together and love a good western. But it's not just about interests. Her dad is hugely respectful of her boundaries and never forces his daughter to spend time with him. And basically, the two just really get each other. One of my favorite moments between the pair was in the episode Carpe Museum, when she lets slip that she wishes to take over the family restaurant one day in the future. And this is something we all know touched Bob deeply. Admit it, you look up to me. No! Oh, you are ruining our perfect day right now! Louise Belcher, the evil genius. Each Belcher child has their very own quirky traits, and Louise's is to cause as much trouble as possible, but that's why we love her. The very first scheme we get to see was in the pilot episode, Human Flesh, where she makes up a lie saying that her family's restaurant serves up human flesh in their burgers. It's made with human remains from the crematorium next door. <gasps> but the lie did end up helping the family in the long run, as a busload of sickos visited the empty diner to try some man meat. And I get it, that sounds a lot dirtier than it actually is. Over time, her pranks and tricks have become more and more elaborate. When Bob gets trapped in the crawl space, she makes up a lie that Bob died and is now haunting the restaurant. Go to the light, father. Oh, okay, I see. Very funny, I'm a ghost. Her small fib escalates to the point where Mr. Front gets involved and threatens to call social services. Sometimes Louise's tricks and schemes do have consequences, like the time she almost electrocuted her sister in order to get revenge on a teacher. But you know what? Tina was pretty cool with it. Tina, I'm sorry I nearly killed you. I got carried away with the Dinkler thing, which worked out pretty well, but still. In the episode The Cook, The Steve, The Girl and Her Lover, Louise's Aunt Gail has a date at their Belcher home. She is smitten and the kids are curious about her love life. That is until they learn that Gail's date is Louise's nemesis, Mr. Front. Basically the guy who confiscated her grabby toy. And that's no! So later on during dinner, Louise is determined to ruin Mr. Front's chances of love and steals his gift for Gail. 
This selfish plan blinds her from seeing that she may be jeopardizing Gail's chance for happiness. Louise is a flawed character, but it seems that no matter what, she always does the right thing in the end, giving the gift back to Gail. But then look who turned it all around and saved the day. I did. Louise Belcher, hero. Louise is oh so wonderfully odd. Even though at times it's an outlandish cartoon, the characters of Bob's Burgers all have their relatable moments. And when it comes to Louise, we all tend to agree with many of her snarky remarks and outlook on life. She also has a unique fascination with horror, the macabre and bizarre items. For example, when Teddy pulls out a disgusting giant hairball, Louise thinks it's the coolest thing ever. She's adorably weird and that's why we love Louise Belcher. She's a certified tomboy and is bewildered by Tina's fascination with boys. That was until the episode in Boys For Now, where she reluctantly joins her sister at a Boys For Now concert. She couldn't stand the idea of screaming girls falling over boys, but when she sets her eyes on Boo Boo, she goes a bit gaga. Therefore, she faces an existential crisis and loathes the fact that she is smitten with him, but can't stop herself whenever she hears his name. But Louise is young and doesn't quite understand these new brewing feelings. As such, she has an irresistible urge to slap him. Um, you mean kiss? No, I mean slap. So she and her sister sneak on board their tour bus and jump the guys. At first, Louise is a little tongue-tied until she slaps Boo Boo right across the face. Worth it. Jean and Louise take on the world. We can say that Louise has a very good relationship with her older brother Jean. They're almost always together and Jean is more open to doing Louise's schemes than her sister Tina. The episode Drum Forgiven shows how loyal and protective Louise is of her siblings. In it, Jean is kicked out of his favorite music shop and Louise takes it upon herself to avenge him. Her efforts to annoy the owner with loud kids and a glitter bomb doesn't help the case. And while Louise has good intentions at heart, she was unaware of what Jean really wanted. And Jean was able to sort out the entire situation on his own. And although she can get carried away, we know she is always looking out for him. Someone hurts you and my brain goes into destroy mode and I just wanna there's another great episode that helps define their sibling bond. In Large Brother Where Far Thou, Louise and Jean are home alone and Jean wants a simple quiet night. But when Louise throws a rotten cantaloupe out the window, it hits Logan, who vows to beat them up and Louise, as expected, taunts him despite Jean's insistence to let things go. The episode reveals that Louise doesn't see Jean as the typical older brother, who is protective. This is largely due to his childlike wonder, but when Louise is in danger of getting a stinky armpit from Logan, Jean finally steps up as her big brother and takes the punishment himself. Thanks for doing that. You're a great large brother. Many times, shrimp. Louise does have friends outside of her siblings. The Belcher clan are a close bunch, but don't think Louise doesn't have her own friends. The one we see most often is regular sized Rudy. They first met in the episode Carpe Museum and a friendship blossoms. Rudy often becomes entwined in Louise's schemes, but he doesn't seem to mind so much. She is also cutely protective of him. In Bob Actually, Louise tries to save Rudy from embarrassment when learning his Valentine's Day crush doesn't want anything to do with him. When she shows up at the playground at the time Rudy was expecting his crush, she tells him the truth to save him from the heartbreak. Seeing that Rudy was hoping for his first kiss, Louise does a solid for her friend and kisses him instead. But don't worry guys, it's quickly followed by a slap and a threat not to tell a soul. In this video, I've taken the time to appreciate the strength Louise shows and her conviction. But nonetheless, there was one scheme that showed how her small mindset can disregard others' feelings. 
In House of 1000 Bounces, Louise hatches a plan to steal another party's bounty house after feeling that Rudy's birthday party is rather lame. After getting in immense trouble, Rudy lashes out by saying that Louise has ruined his grand plan for his day and that all he wanted was for his friends to act out a play he worked hard on. Feeling absolutely awful, Louise makes it up to Rudy by putting on the play after all. Thanks, Louise. This is the birthday I wanted. You're welcome, Rudy. Besides Rudy, Louise is often associated with Andy and Ollie Pesto, but they are more of Louise's lackeys rather than friends. She often involves them in her plans for her own benefit because they are easily manipulated. At one point, she uses them to make drawings to sell to tourists. But first, you gotta make some money for mommy, okay, babies? And makes them work in her makeshift casino. All in all, Louise is inarguably one of the most fun belchers to see on screen, in terms of her aesthetic as well as her relatable quirks that appeal to the weirdo in all of us. So, what's your favourite Louise moment? And have you seen the movie yet? Let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.